Hi everyone. As part of this demonstration, I am going to walk through an employee Betty Lee who is having a child. She will use self-service via our virtual agent to request leave. At the same time, we will track the workflow in ServiceNow and request manager approval. Upon manager approval, the workday process will progress submitting the leave. The customer can have a choice to do all the approval in ServiceNow first and then shoot off the completed leave of absence to Workday or initiate the leave of absence request from ServiceNow to Workday and can approve it in Workday. Integration Hub and Workday Spoke supports both the approaches. I'm going to start off as a Betty Liu having a chatbot conversation to request leave for birth of a child. Virtual Agent is based on natural language understanding where based on training model, the bot learns the intent and probability for the right action. Since the probability is high enough, the HR service for leave of absence conversation is started. Here, BA is asking details to be filled like first day of leave, expected return to work date, It is asking to select leave of absence type. And it is asking for a final confirmation. I am entering request for maternity leave as a additional comment. Upon completing the request, ServiceNow record was created to track the workflow. Here we can see a case being created with all the necessary details and approver being mentioned. Next, Betty Liu, employees manager, approves the leave and once workflow is approved, a leave request will be submitted and we will receive a reference ID from Workday. The Workday reference ID is stored in service now. So I will copy that and Quickly search the leave request in Workday. Now, if we look in Workday, we will see that leave request has been accepted and approval was processed. Next, let me demonstrate the flow designer using which we have achieved this functionality. Leave of absence is a flow being used in this use case. It gets triggered whenever there is a new entry in HR total rewards case table with HR service as leave of absence. Using get leave of absence date, we will get a first date and expected return date from the case created. 
ask for approval action is being used to submit request for manager approval. Once approval is obtained, a call to request leave of absence, Workday HR spoke action will be made and leave request will be submitted to Workday. Once the leave request is submitted to Workday, we will receive Workday event ID as a response and it is being updated in a case using update record action. Next, let me demonstrate the request leave of absence from Workday HR spoke. This action is a Workday SOAP based action and all required mandatory checks, XML tags formation and endpoint formation are done in a pre-processing stage. For endpoint configuration, navigate to Workday HR spoke, connection details and make an entry for base URL and version with a web service type selected as SOAP. This record will be fetched and it will be concatenated with default visitor name and endpoint will be formed in a pre-processing stage. Workday web service call will be made in a second stage that is SOAP stage. Endpoint created in a pre-processing stage has been used here and Workday XML body is being formed in a next step. Credentials for SOAP based action should be configured in Workday SOAP security policy. To configure a username and password, navigate to Integration Hub, SOAP integrations and SOAP security policies. Select Workday record. If a username profile has already been created, select that. If not, Please create a new username profile with Workday username and password. If a customer intends to use another SOAP security policy record and not the default record, then a new record must be created under SOAP security policy and that record must be selected in WS security step of SOAP stage. In a post-processing stage, XML response received from Workday will be converted to action output required format. Throughout the integration demo, we saw how simple it was for employee to submit request for leave of absence and how seamlessly it was submitted to Workday upon manager approval. The service now integration with Workday is a great value for customers. Thank you.